What's up guys, my name is Volodymyr, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to... So yeah, I haven't done one of these talking videos in quite a while, as you may have noticed. And recently I started making videos again and I thought, well, I have to do one of these again. But I don't really have anything to talk about. Up until the other day. Something incredible happened and I have to. I have to mention it because it's hilarious. If you want me to make your day, you have to, you have to watch this video till the very end, you understand? So yeah, you read the title of the video correctly. My video was blocked, banned. People can't watch it in the glorious country of the Russia. Glorious, it's a reference to papers, please. And you might ask me, Vlad, is it the video where you literally in the title say, that the Russians are dumb. Or maybe it's the video where you say that the Russia is the worst place to grow up. But no, funny enough. I still wait for those bugs, don't worry, they'll, they'll come. I don't know how much you know about YouTube guidelines, but here's one of the aspects. Whenever you have a song, a music in your video, even if it's 5 seconds, 10 seconds long, the video most likely will be not monetized, copyright claims, so basically you're not gonna get any money from the video, which is completely different conversation, right? Sometimes those videos get blocked completely, so no one can see them, or some countries can't see them. For example, I have a video of Trevor Noah, which is blocked in Canada. Why? Who knows why? Who knows why? Canada doesn't like Trevor Noah? I don't know. I assume it has something to do with distribution. But that's not the case here. That's oh no no. So I recently made a video where I watched this year's Eurovision Ukrainian contestant music video. And in the beginning of the video, I had a 10 second clip of last year's winner of Eurovision contest, which was Ukrainian band. And guess what? The whole video was banned in Russia just because of that 10 second clip. And you may ask, Vlad, why? Why that happens? Why? Well, let me tell you why. So when the war started, Russia was like, see, Europe supports Russia, Europe supports Russia. And then what? Ukraine won Eurovision, which is kind of political, some might say. But the song was actually, without a bias, the best that year. This year, I don't want to say anything bad, but last year we won. How to explain to Russian people that political show like Eurovision chose Ukraine to be the winner? Why explain? We can just block the song. <laughs> Guys, I, I know that probably no one cares, but the whole idea, the whole situation made me laugh so hard. And for a couple of minutes, it brought me joy. I was happy. So yeah, guys, I'm making videos again. Let me know what you want to see moving forward. And follow me on Instagram, come on. And support uh, me on uh, Patreon. And for your support, you know what you're gonna get? Nothing. There's no extra content. There are a few videos there that were blocked way before on YouTube, so, you know. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.